Well, hey guys, I'm here at the Dollar Tree and there are some skincare finds you are not gonna wanna miss. Check it out, look what they got in. Move over Peter Thomas Roth because the DT has stepped in with Global Beauty Care coming to our needs with their Lift and Firm Eye Cream with collagen and peptides, deep puffing and tightening. Now, a lot of these products that target under eye bags, they have silicates in them that kind of dry down and just tighten the under eye skin temporarily. That's how the Peter Thomas Roth thing works. This does not appear to have those ingredients. Instead, it has hydrolyzed collagen, a humectant. It has peptides, which also help to improve the moisture content of the skin. And you know, around the eyes, the skin there is so delicate that that really can make a difference, albeit temporary. Petrolatum to reduce water loss, keeping that water in place. 2-O-ethyl ascorbic acid is a stable form of vitamin C, may or may not change your life may help defend against oxidative stress in the skin this is 15 minute eye therapy how are you supposed to use this use daily to repair revitalize and restore healthy looking skin this also has retinol in it which is great for fine lines around the eyes and improving collagen production with long-term consistent use that too can smooth out fine lines around the eyes and there's no fragrance in this um, it's got glycolic acid, which is a humectant, can also help soften and smooth um, and improve the visible signs of photoaging, may also help enhance the efficacy of the retinol in this. I mean, this is really bringing a lot to the table. They're not playing when they say new items weekly. I don't come in here weekly, but every time I come in here, there are a lot of new finds. They always have new clay masks in. This one, this selection here is by Bolero. Clay masks are great if you have oily skin because they help remove some oil from some sebum off the surface of the skin. And that can help actually, if you do it regularly, it can help control breakouts because sebum on the skin surface, it oxidizes when you go out and you're exposed to environmental stressors like UV and pollution. And that oxidized sebum is irritating, inflammatory, it can drive more breakouts. Hibiscus flower and coconut. What is the clay? Kaolin, that's the clay. Ooh, utterly smooth snuck up in here. This is a hand cream. Absorbs fast without residue. Dimethicone, I find dimethicone hand creams, they're really nice because they don't leave that greasy residue as much. And the scent is not overpowering. Bolero has also come in with a body oil and the pink pineapple and grapefruit scent, uh, which is just a scented mineral oil. I mean, this is basically an adult version of baby oil right here. Instead of the baby oil scent, you're getting a tropical scent. But um, this type of product actually can be very helpful for uh, removing water resistant sunscreen from the body. It, you know, you, you just slather it on before getting in the shower just a little bit and it just kind of helps break up that film. And then you wash it off. Be careful that you don't slip and slide in the shower. Oh my gosh, I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself because what I see has me excited. Be pure, what in the Olay are you doing here? Is this giving Olay body wash vibes here? It kind of is to me. You know, Olay came out with all these like body, was it Olay or I forget what brand, maybe Dove. They have all of these body washes that they claim are like body wash serum with all of these kind of similar ingredient families. Collagen, as I said, oh, this is a body lotion. Well, 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 don't mind if I do. Scented, of course, and as I always point out, fragrance is a common allergen in skincare products, but this has um, some uh, you know, beneficial ingredients. I already pointed out collagen is a humectant. This has niacinamide, which is good for dry skin, redness, hyperpigmentation. It's also good as an anti-aging ingredient because it's an antioxidant to uh, help combat oxidative stress. Ooh, this is not looking too, I wonder what this smells like. Interesante. Vitamin C body lotion. Um, okay, what form of vitamin C does this have? Ascorbic acid, not stable, difficult to get into the skin. Glycerin, a humectant. This too is scented. And then they have a hyaluronic acid body lotion. Very good for improving dry skin, helps retain moisture in the stratum corneum. And ultimately that really helps quite a bit actually. You guys are going in and out. Really helps quite a bit uh, in the long run with improving exfoliation. These are not a bad price. I wish they were free of fragrance, $1.25. Um, definitely not like competitive with my Gold Bond Retinol Body Lotion that has become a holy grail, but not bad. This is back for your travel bag, the Hydrating Facial Gel Cleanser, of course scented with watermelon. 
and mint, but I love a gel cleanser. Freeman is always, always coming up with something. I mean, Freeman, I, they must have like so many employees who just sit around all day and like, okay, to, what's the mask we're gonna invent today? <laughs> like pinky in the brain, right? I don't know what this is all about, the, the uh, metallic thing. This is just a, a slumber party thing. Um, it's not gonna do anything really long term for your skin this this one freeman you know sometimes they come in with some masks if you watch one of my last dollar tree videos there were a lot there were better freeman masks in here and you know who has good freeman mask selection is actually five below um they they tend to have a, a wider array for example the soothing gel mask what does it have in there watermelon fruit extract move over glow recipe it's probably gonna be hydrating Looks like they got a body scrub in. Now, scrubs, they're not the most precise way to exfoliate, but they can help uh, if you're gentle with them, depending on how they're formulated. They can help uh, with those of you, for those of you who have uh, keratosis pilaris, rough and bumpy skin. That's one way, although honestly, just get a washcloth and do some gentle circular motion. Ooh, here's what I'm talking about, Freeman. I don't know what is people love peeling stuff off it's it's the, it harkens back to the rubber cement days lemon extract can be irritating tea tree leaf oil common allergen i don't know that one is a pass from time to time they do have some good clay masks we've got the hand sanitizer here this is a great option if you don't have access to soap and water this is the next best thing hand sanitizer as opposed to i don't recommend the use of antibacterial hand soaps because they favor the emergence of resistant bacteria which is not a good thing um and they don't help you in the pursuit of good hand hygiene any more than just regular plain soap and water. It's more about the amount of time that you spend rubbing your hands together and making sure that you get all surfaces. It's not so much about the ingredients in the hand wash. Um, this is not an antibacterial one. The antibacterial ones usually have benzalkonium chloride, which these from Dial do not. Um, but they do have antibacterial hand soaps in, in Dial. You know, Dial's notorious for that. In fact, they used to have triclosan. And then the FDA said no more triclosan because it's becoming an issue with antibiotic, you know, antimicrobial resistance. So they, they replaced the triclosan with benzalkonium chloride. And of course now, you know, that's becoming a problem. What does, what does Lucky have? Methyl isothiazole, and those are preservatives which people frequently become allergic to. That's another replace something with something else and cause a problem. Like parabens are not really that problematic. They got so demonized that a lot of products replaced parabens with the th thiazolinone preservatives, which are far more likely to cause problems for people. It's just like a silly switch. Coconut oil infused microfiber hair wrap. Now, microfiber hair towels, I'm telling you, they make a huge difference in efficiently, rapidly getting the majority of the water out of your hair. Um, I use a microfiber hair towel every night after I get out of the shower. Um, you know, I gently wring out water out of my hair and then I put it in the microfiber hair towel and I probably have it on there max like seven minutes while I'm like getting in my pajamas and you know doing my evening skincare routine by the time I take it out my hair is like 99% dry I mean it's kind of hard to truly estimate but it's pretty much dry and I of course comb through a um that hydrating styling cream pin my hair up gently and twist just to get out of my face. And then before I go to bed, I take the, the twist out and my hair is completely dry and I just sleep with my hair down. I used to wear a sleep bonnet, which is a great option too, those satin or silk sleep bonnets. Those are great options for reducing hair breakage, frizz, but I just kind of stopped doing that for reasons I have no idea. Sometimes I just get off track of things. Now, I pointed this out recently, summertime in particular is, you know, a time of year where skin infections get ramped up because a lot of little bugs rather favor hot, humid environments, for example, ringworm or tinea versicolor. Um, and then, you know, if you're sitting around in sweaty clothes a lot, it's more of a favorable environment for you to get little staph infections in the hair follicle, lead to painful breakouts on the rear end, that's called a folliculitis. All that to say, a culprit in spreading these things around 
are either loofahs or washcloths. So to cut down on spread of those things, make sure you're not sharing with other people. Ideally, you're using a washcloth that you wash after each time to sterilize um, in hot soapy water with bleach uh, so that you make sure you're not inoculating your other parts of your body with that or you know spreading it to someone else. It really can be an issue actually with uh, foot fungus. You know, a lot of people end up transferring like foot fungus or ringworm to other body sites and it spreads all around. Speaking of washcloths, these I see all over the place. These exfoliating things can actually be kind of rough on your skin barrier. I know people like them. Honestly, you don't need to do that. Every minute you're shedding about 30,000 skin uh, corneocytes. I mean, me standing here, I'm shedding. Everybody in this whole store is shedding corneocytes left and right. Um, so like going at your, your skin barrier with a thing it's like what, what are you what are you asking it, it to do noblemen um i forget what they had was it a, an under eye retinol at one point looks like they came out with a face and beard wash this looks to be a mild cleanser charcoal powder may help in absorbing some excess sebum from the skin surface as it slushes around over your skin aloe leaf extract hydrating but some people find it irritating this does have fragrance of course dmdm hydantoin is a preservative that's more than safe pretty low rate of allergic contact dermatitis in comparison to the uh, thiazolinones i don't know why this is randomly stuck in here a little dish you could store my i could store my lip gloss collection in that and i have a bad i have a bad compulsion to just keep buying lip glosses <laughs> my lip gloss is popping those of you who are dealing with hair loss around the, the hairline in particular, um, I caution, you know, I pointed out I don't go to bed with my hair in clips. Likewise, I would not go to sleep with your hair in rollers if you can avoid it or, you know, try and do it as little as possible because that does put a lot of traction on the hair that can lead to traction alopecia type of hair loss, which once you take away the traction, stop wearing your hair in tight styles or start, stop going to bed with stuff like this in your hair, the hair can grow back. But if you do it long term, the hair follicle can actually scar down and it can be lead to permanent hair loss. So be really careful, especially if you're noticing that you're getting a lot of breakage um, in the, you know, wherever you're wearing these. I mean, typically traction alopecia is like where you get like hair, hair thinning here, but honestly it can happen anywhere where you have a lot of traction. Like if you get extensions, you can get a ton of, of breakage and traction hair loss back here in this part of the scalp. It's all where, you know, you have, have, the, th have the, the chronic tr traction. And if you're using styling products that have, that are, you know, like um, long hold, actually be pretty drying on the hair strands. You use that in combination with, with pulling it tight, it really can break the hair very easily and, you know, further contribute to thinning in those areas. I'm pretty excited about this, the Be Pure Hair Serum Anti-Frizz, because I love hair serums. I find that they work really well in my hair. Glycerin, I find they work well for keeping the hair like smooth and, and helping with uh, just manageability overall. They have one with that's labeled as curl defining, maybe a little richer. Oh, this one has coconut oil. Did the other one have coconut oil too? Coconut oil is good for your hair. This one, th this one has coconut oil too. I'm not sure how they differ. Probably very subtle, honestly. Probably very subtle differences. Now with the Bolero body washes, be careful you're not using too much body wash. It can get trapped in the skin folds, break down the skin barrier there and contribute to intertrigo, which is rashes in the skin folds. See, the skin barrier starts to get broken down there and becomes more favorable for yeast to colonize. Plus, you know, with summer coming up, you get very, very sweaty and the sweat in those areas further breaks down the skin barrier, further makes it very favorable for like candida yeast to come in and take up shop. All right, color easy. A note about these, common allergen in these is um, phenylene diamine, PPD. A lot of people end up developing an allergy to that from their hair color. Um, it's frequently added to hair dyes and it's a common allergen. And the allergy like often affects behind the ears, the sides of the neck, um, and it can impact your eyelids. If you're developing those kind of rashes, you have to think about your hair dye being the, the issue. What is this? This is like trying to emulate um, the uh, Myel, Myel uh, rosemary serum or whatever. I reviewed that for you guys a while back. Rosemary essential oil, which, you know, the study on rosemary oil, for hair, compared just to 2% 2 2 minoxidil, 
and they were similar, um, more studies are needed. This has rosemary oil. The main issue with using it, you know, it's fine to pursue if that's, if you want to try it. Just be aware that the main issue you can run into is allergic contact dermatitis because essential oils um, are fairly common allergens. Same thing with tea tree oil. I point that out a fair amount. Tea tree oil is an essential oil. Um, it has some antifungal properties, so it may also be helpful if you're someone who gets dandruff, but it's also a common allergen. Oh, look y'all, it's the Kissable Salicylic Acid Acne Cleanser. Uh, I wonder how this compares to the Up and Up one. Unfortunately, it has the thiazolinones in it. Um, so I would go with the Up and Up one if you want to save a few bucks on your salicylic acid acne cleanser. Um, but I will say this, um, salicylic acid acne cleansers, they're, they're, they, they, they're always, you know, marketed towards people with acne, but they can be beneficial for a lot of other things like hyperpigmentation because they're anti-inflammatory, salicylic acid is at least, um, can help with improving the signs of skin, uh, sun damage just by improving skin texture. Um, they're generally pretty well tolerated. This is new from Kissable, a oatmeal body lotion, fragrance free with dimethicone in it and uh, no, no problematic thiazolinones. This is a good, this is new, new and exciting. Probably feels pretty good too, lightweight, non greasy because it's dimethicone that tends to be uh, favorable. It does have fragrance. Wait, does, does, it says fragrance free and then there it is, fragrance, what? What? Why? Why just lie like that? I'm not kissing you, kissable. What? Although, what's this one back here? This is the same thing in a pump bottle. Yep, same thing in a pump. Same shady mislabeling. Invigorating facial scrub. This is pretty much always here. It has the thiazolinones in it, so I don't. I don't recommend. <gasps> Beauty Guru has a clear skin serum with tea tree oil. This is new. What else does it have? You know, tea tree oil, as I mentioned, common allergen, but uh, it does have anti-fungal properties. Small studies suggest it may be helpful for acne, provided that you don't react to it. I certainly do not suggest getting tea tree essential oil and putting on your skin. You can get a bad burn. Um, what else does this have? Lavender. This is a bunch of essential oils. I would not, I would not go putting that on the skin. They brought back the Carol Vitamin E Enriched Cocoa Butter. This one is pretty moisturizing. I've actually tried this before. It does have fragrance, but it's actually pretty good otherwise. We've got a hyaluronic acid serum here. That's not focusing. There we go. Obi. Juan Kenobi Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This also has panthenol in it, very moisturizing ingredient. Oh, there it is, thiazolinone. Man, you gotta be careful with the Dollar Tree. A lot of their skincare products have the thiazolinones in them. What's this cucumber mask? That looks like fun to scare somebody with. <laughs> Ascorbic acid. This actually looks kind of fun. Again, I, I pointed this out in other videos, but like I don't get the point of the retinol in the mask because in order to derive benefit from retinol, you need to use it consistently. Um, so you're gonna be doing this, you know, a couple of times a week. I mean, I guess if you really like it, but anyway. You can get some benefit from retinol just by a short contact time, like doing a mask but it's gonna be real slow moving. It's the kind of thing you might do when you're starting out with retinol, but long term, I mean, you probably wanna work up to using it and being able to wear it overnight. Glucomannan, very hydrating. This actually looks promising as a mask. I'm not seeing any fragrance. This, this looks like it would be fun to do, actually. This one, they claim has tea tree oil in it, which it does, tea tree extract. Um, you know, the. The problem with tea tree is that like it degrades, oxidizes, and that's what becomes irritating. So by extract, they probably remove some of that. I'm willing to bet that these hair mascaras are a mess. I mean, I don't know. This seems like chaos waiting to happen. They have quite a few colors here though. Be Pure has a lip sleeping mask. These tend to just be very, very moisturizing. Um, this one has lavender oil, which, and, and fragrance, both of which can be more problematic on the lips because the skin there is more prone to irritation. Petrolatum and mineral oil. Move over, Laneige. DT has stepped in. Here we have a micellar cleansing water. Now, if you watch my vlogs, you know, I don't particularly care for micellar water personally. I just find that they're very unwieldy, hard 
or t harder to use in comparison to a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm for removing cosmetics. I mean, technically you don't have to rinse them off, but I do recommend doing that because the residue of these ingredients combined with broken up makeup and oil can actually be irritating. But they're handy if you are like somewhere where you don't have access to running water. Um, they're an option and they definitely, this definitely can help uh, take off sunscreen too, like especially water resistant sunscreen. So it's handy to have like when you're camping and stuff. That actually looks like a decent thing to try. This multivitamin serum is back from Global Beauty Care. It was it was MIA for uh, a few Dollar Tree trips. It's a hyaluronic acid serum. It has sodium ascorbyl phosphate. That's a form of vitamin C. That's one of those stable derivatives. A study that suggests it may be helpful for people with acne. The orange fruit extract in this is not my favorite because that can be irritating. Uh, niacinamide though is good for hyperpigmentation and redness. Move over Dior because Be Pure is coming in with their infused lip oil. So mineral oil is great on lips. Shea butter is great on lips. I pointed out ad nauseum that fragrance is a common irritant in lip care products. Lips are just more sensitive in general. Speaking of things that I'm, I already know are going to be scented, but hello packaging, a pineapple cat, why not? Um, they have pineapple and peach. Looks like maybe they have like a raspberry too, but they don't have it here. Quite the selection of antiperspirants here uh, with the aluminum salts. Uh, these just help reduce the output of sweat. And that's that sweat that gets broken down by the bacteria on your skin and leads to body odor. Fresh vibes. Now, uh, fragrance is a common allergen in antiperspirants because the nature of underarm skin, you are, you, you know, you have it trapped there under occlusion and the sweat it just enhances the potential for irritation. Well guys, Dollar Tree has not disappointed. I hope you all enjoyed this video. On the end slate, check out my last Dollar Tree video. It is a long one packed with goodies, many of which are still here. So check that one out next. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.